So, wow, here we are. This is amazing. Uh, I think you did a fantastic job uh, getting everything here, being prepared. Everything looks like it's professionally presented um, and it, it's very impressive. So this is one of the largest groups that the BFA program's ever seen come through. There are 11 of us. We're all very strong, but we're also all incredibly different. I mean, thesis, the whole thing, is supposed to be about making a body of work, and the show is a way to make us narrow our focus. If we're going to have a show at the end, we want our body of work to be cohesive. And really, what it's intended to be is to highlight all of the work that we've done. It's a very, very time-consuming, hard, it's a lot of work. We have two and a half hours. Let's see how much of this we can get laid out. I work primarily with etching. Um, I work with plates and, and normal flat 2D pictures in, in frames. Kristen, um, she, she was working mainly with the same idea of printing and she was going to do frames. And now she's changed her whole idea to do this big, beautiful installation with all these birds that are going to come off the wall. I suppose I could put them there because they're totally separate from me. We have Cortland Johansson, very interested now in painting spaces and in different people's houses, kind of like a statement about individuality and, and what even the smallest, most normal thing in your house says about you. Colleen's another painter and she is very different from Cortland, but she uses these organic forms and shapes and all these ponds and microorganisms to inspire her pieces so you get these feelings of being in a body or being in a, a lake or being in a big crowded woods and they're very colorful very playful I, that's there's another piece of paper that's going to go right here and brett is very detail oriented his works are incredibly complicated making one small piece can take him a really long time he's one of the people i think that lives truly lives in his studio. You got enough, you think? Um, I hope so. Um, Noelle is also doing an installation. She's very, um, very much a political activist, very into art for a, a reason, you know, for a purpose. And Drake, he's turned into an installation too, and he's been very interested also with digital process and photo process. His is going to be this crazy mix of found objects. It's Mike Heights is a, technically a drawing concentration and he works a lot with ink washes and he'll use these really fine point markers and pens to do all these detailed drawing line geometric things in these washes. His studio partner actually, they they are perfect to be studio partners. Her name is Danielle and she works mostly with ink as well, but she does a lot of thick a lot of thick layers of ink. Throughout their time there, they've They've worked off of one another really, really well. Yeah. Oh, you're looking for a corner. Jacqueline does encaustic. So she will um, embed things in these layers and layers of wax. And she can carve away and expose something and bring it forward, or she can cover it with something and make it recede. In the next studio over, we have Peter. I would say his work's a lot more abstract. They remind me of stained glass windows now. He's done this beautiful thing of using color mostly to create these emotions and you look at it and you can see the image, but if you get up close, you see just how complex and sort of abstract it is. Congratulations. I mean, it's important if you are gonna be a fine artist that you know how to get ready for a show. So it's a big part of the learning process, but also it is, we've put in a lot of time and we've, we've been very dedicated to this. And so it's a way to get this out to the other art students and to the public. And they can ask us questions about our work and really try to see what it is that we do. Because we are, as Tom puts it, in our studios away from everyone else. And this is a way for people, for us to come out into the spotlight and for people to really get an idea of what we've been doing all year.